So, we will see belief not in his full manifestation. So, let's look at the judgment. So, we know that the death is in the sin. That there is the exposure of the death in the sin. So, how do we know what the death is? That is what the resurrection will bring to the fore. So, the judgment of God is to expose that's why in john chapter 16 he says the prince of this world is judged what he means is that the prince of this world is exposed how is he judged exposure john 16 8 to 11 and when he is come he will reprove the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment of sin because they believe not on me of righteousness because i go to my father and ye see me no more of judgment because the prince of this world is judged the prince of this world so jesus exposes the prince of this world nobody knew there was anything called the prince of this world till jesus showed up so the the arrival of christ exposed the devil the prince of this world so sin and death are self-destructive systems they are self-destructive so once you embrace sin you are on your way to destroy yourself. And that is what we call the wrath of God. Once you embrace sin, you have made the decision to self-destruct. But God's judgment is to expose them. The judgment of God exposes sin and death. Neither of them are God's work. Both sin and death are the work of man. However, the judgment of God, which is the love of God, exposes them. Because they are the absence of God. Sin is the absence of God. Death is the absence of God. So in the love of God, he exposes them for what they are. And you know, death has a timeline. Death has an age. Hmm. Death will not live forever. Keep that somewhere. Death will not live forever. John 12, 31. Now is the judgment of this world. Now shall the prince of this world be cast out. 32. And I, if I be lifted up from the earth, will draw all men unto me. 33. This he said, signifying what death he should die. So in his death, he exposed the prince of this world. In Jesus is dead. You know, until then... God was supposed to be the architect of all things until sin entered. I hope you know that. Until sin entered, God was supposed to be the architect of all things. But the moment the will of man came into play, God's architecture God's architecture stopped. Because now, God can only continue his architecture depending on your choice. His architecture now works within your choice to believe him. If you don't believe him, he can function in your space. No, he can't. He can't. He can only function in the space of those who believe him. He doesn't impose himself. Did we see that God says his spirit will not strive? He will not plead. He will not continue to plead. He will not coerce you. He won't. So in the death of Jesus, Satan was exposed. That exposing of Satan is God's judgment. Yeah. Nobody say, oh, if God is really a good God, why does he allow evil happen to good people? What makes them good people? Because they smile for you and give you some handouts or hand downs. Is that what makes them good people? Is that what makes them good people? Question two Is it God that allowed or their choices? allowed. He 
is their choices. Don't blame it on God because God's part there is to have instructed you ahead of time. Adam, that fruit has death. The day you eat, you shall die. Judgment contained in the fruit. It's not a probability. Mm -mm. He is in love, tough love, revealing to you the outcome of any choice in that direction. So now, intentionally, knowingly, deliberately, you now make the choice. Why blame God for the outcome of your choice? Somebody said, no, 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 Dr. Damina, you don't know. That man was a real man of God, but he died at the age of 35. Oh, why? Why, God? Why? He was the only man that preached in my village, and he was such a genuine man of God. He preached it all his life. Oh, why? Why? Who will save my village? Hey, hey, hold, hold, hold. Stop ranting too much. You never lived with that man to know what were his choices to keep his body healthy for a long time. You weren't there when he was consuming excess sugar. You weren't there when he was consuming excess, excess carbohydrates. You were not there. Oh, you were not there when he was making wrong choices and abusing this body. You were not there. That he's a man of God has not still excused him from wearing mortality. So don't blame God for his dying at 35. It is the outcome of his choice. Why, why, why did they have accident and that? Were you the driver on the steering? Couldn't God protect them? He must have spoken to them ahead of time. But they didn't pay attention. He must have. He's a lover. He must have, have, have. And see, God will, God will not say, boom, pa, am I not talking? Mm-mm. Gently. Gently. But you will know that you were told. You will know it. Even if you didn't pay attention, you will know that this thing, I felt it. That's the common language. Is that the common language? I felt that I shouldn't. That's the love of God. But it is still the love of God to have allowed you after feeling it. To not pay attention. You see, you, you see what I'm explaining here? It's still the love of God. Because that is why he didn't hold Adam's hand. And say, Adam, 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 didn't I tell you not to eat? Mm -mm. I already told you. I already told you. I'm not going to follow, I'm not going to coerce you. My spirit will strive. God's mercy still comes sometimes even after you have made a choice. God's mercy still comes. Especially when you ask for it. Oh, Father, I know I've messed up, but I just need some help out of this. I receive a miracle now. I know I have fallen into a ditch, but I must get out of this ditch. Father, I receive a miracle. Lakota, Magala, Takaya. Suddenly, you see steps on the wall to get out of the ditch. And as you lift your leg to climb, you have help. Suddenly, you have come out of it. That is God's mercy. Coming in to the midst of your mess to straighten you out. Adam! Where are thou? God's mercy. 